Heat is the latest entry in EA's Need for Speed franchise. It's been a while since we hit the streets in a souped up streetcar, but it was definitely fun to hit the road again and drive around. First up, let's talk presentation. Need for Speed Heat doesn't set itself apart from the pack in terms of graphics this time around, but it definitely doesn't disappoint either. The cars are modeled well and even goes a bit further to add some body damage too. There is a strange wet surface to everything though that is a little off-putting. It looks good at night and under sunny conditions, but it stands out as well. And I should mention that one thing that also stands out is that the world is a bit empty. Of course in open world racers, too much traffic is a nuisance, but here the general lack of it is what stood out. There is some to be found during certain races, but overall it just felt oddly empty with a small handful of cars roaming around. The map is decently sighed and houses lots of nooks and crannies to see though, as well as lots of little extras and secrets to find. Audio wise, the game doesn't impress too much either. The cars sound good, but not amazing and the general voice acting is nice all around. But where it does stand out is the soundtrack. During the day, we get treated to Latin hits and EDM beats. And at night, we get cool hip hop vibes. It really was a cool contrast that the game went for. Hey, you know there's a police station up ahead on the right. If we want their attention, we should start early. Just gotta make sure they can't ignore us. Let's go cause some chaos. The story in the game is another middle of the road feature. The general plot of street racers versus the police has been done a million times before, and it's not so different here either. We want street cred through driving dangerously at night, and during the day we're a legit racer. The police want to crack down on our good time, but there's a little more to it than that. Of course the cops are really corrupt, and they're actually stealing cars and selling them for profit. Let's cut them off. That's it. We got them. Let's leave these suckers where we want. Any of these cops scratches my ride, I am suing the city. It's nothing special, but it serves its purpose. It also gives us a bit of a nice setting for why the cops are so aggressive. Most of the story missions are nothing amazing, and sadly only a handful stand out. Stuff like boss showdowns and some interesting driving routes are great, but the story is so short that only a handful of missions really do stand out when all is said and done. The normal events outside the story where the main meat of the game is. Circuit, sprint, and drift are the main categories without much variation. You do unlock some off-road missions as well, but they follow the same style as the street ones. As a fan of sprint races, I was really enjoying how many there were to choose from. Challenge events are something I enjoy doing too. You race against a ghost AI, and while it does sound a bit lame, the course layouts here are really good. Tight turns through alleys, racing uphill with a narrow line, or even driving along a monorail track are all here. Perhaps the game's best feature though is its customization. While it isn't the most detailed system in the world, it's both functional and easy to use. Applying all kinds of performance upgrades is quick and easy to do once you unlock them. My favorite thing though, was being able to change the driving style of the car. Tuning that off-road pickup into a street machine that can blow past even the most special of BMWs was definitely the most fun aspect of the game. Of course, each vehicle has its limits. But with the right upgrades and creative driving, you can finish just about any event with any car. And yes, you can change the visuals too. Feel free to turn that million dollar supercar into an anime paying car of your dreams, boys and girls.
As I mentioned earlier, the game is also broken up into day and night cycles. You can switch between them at almost any time. During the day, you do sponsored events where you get more prize money. At night, you race for reputation. You need both to proceed in the game. Money is for cars and parts, the rep is for unlocking them. At night, players can build up a heat multiplier by goading and evading the cops while doing events and making it successfully back to the garage, you'll get a multiplier on both your money and your reputation. This can make it easier to level up and is necessary to proceed in the game. In all, Need for Speed Heat is definitely a fun game that does nothing wrong but also isn't all that special either. The whole game just feels like it lacks a distinct personality. It's a good racer for those looking to go fast, but if you're wanting the next big thing, this definitely wasn't it. There's a good amount to do and see, but once you've had your time with it, you might not be that impressed with it. Thanks for watching, I just wanted to ask you to leave a comment down below for any content you might want to see, or any suggestions for video editing that you can give. This is a little side project I've been doing, and I've been really getting into it. It's been a fun little experience that I've been trying out. Also, of course, leave a like and subscribe to show your support. See you next time.